What's up all you crazy people from all over the world? All of you are crazy. Anyway, this is UFC on Field TV 5. Before I even say the results or anything like that, I just want to say the UFC did a horrible job promoting this card for real. Anyway, the results. Robbie Peralta versus Jason Young. Robbie wins in the first round by K. Oh, second fight, Gunnar Nelson versus J Demarcus Johnson. Gunnar wins by rear naked choke in the first round. Demarcus loses again. Now, what do you guys think? Should they just get this guy, Demarcus, into the minor leagues now? Because, I mean, he's not stepping up. Anyway, next fight, Brad Tavares beats Tom Watson by split decision, goes the distance, Next fight, Akira Corsani versus Andy Ogle. Again, goes the distance, but Akira wins. Now we have the next fight, Jimmy Manua versus Kyle Kingsbury. Kyle Kingsbury loses by TKO Dr. Stoppage in the second round. Next fight, Che Mills versus Dwayne Ludwig. Che Mills wins by TKO because of a knee injury that Dwayne Ludwig sustained and this happened in the first round now we got John Hathaway versus John McGuire John Hathaway wins by unanimous decision it was an okay fight the next fight Matt Wyman versus Paul Sass Paul Sass is a submission expert this fight you have to see again ladies and gentlemen even in the first 30 seconds of the fight, Matt Wyman was already on his back. I said, uh-oh, uh-oh. But Matt Wyman pulled off an a arm bar and made Paul Sass tap. And this happened in the first round. Matt Wyman went to the UK, Paul Sass's territory, and submitted him to a submission expert. Huge win. He was very emotional. It was a great fight. You guys have to see again. And then, ladies and gentlemen, Eve Jabwe versus Brad One Punch Pickett. You have to see this fight because Brad Pickett knocked out Eve Jabwe with an uppercut in the first round. Everybody went crazy. The fight was awesome. That's a must see fight. Definitely awesome KO. He knocked him completely out. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we have Amir Sodala versus Dan the Outlaw Hardy, which I feel should have been the main event. Tell me in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think that should have been the main event or what? This fight went the distance, but I'll tell you what, it was an awesome fight. Dan Hardy won. Dan Hardy's wrestling was way better. His submission defense was great. His striking was better. You see Amir's face all bloody, but it was a really, really good performance, I say, by both guys. But Dan was just on another level that day, and I think he did superb. Dan Hardy wins, unanimous decision. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we got Stipe versus Stefan Struve, the main event. I'll just cut to the chase. It, in the second round, these two guys were throwing bombs. I mean, Big bombs, you know? Heavyweight. Stefan Struve landed an uppercut. This guy, Stipe, was out on his feet, like stumbling around. He was out. And Stefan just kept throwing and throwing and throwing. And then they stopped the fight in the second round. Overall, I think the event was great. It had some really good fights. I wish they would have marketed it more. And I also just want to say... I liked the commentary better. John Anik and Kenny Florian, I think they did better. Especially than Mike Goldberg, you know. I don't think that guy has said anything original or that wasn't on the script in like forever. For real. But anyway, you can follow me on Twitter at MMA Genius to see all I have to say about MMA and anything that's on my mind. I'll catch all of you later and subscribe. Thanks.